whatever i know how to do i have already done therefore i must always do what i do not know how to do golden words by eduardo chilida haven't we all reeled under an anxiety questioning the presence of any special talents haven't we all had cravings to succeed in an area that we believe we are not so good at don't we sometimes regret working towards something that we don't truly have the passion for welcome to episode 6 of growing with books by shekhar srinivasan where we'll discuss the art of creative thinking by rod jutkins Rod has lectured universities on the subject of creativity and is an innovation consultant to numerous private companies around the world. Is creativity a skill or a mindset? Do you seek expertise in one area or do you like to dabble with a range of pursuits? Do you dread making mistakes or coexist with them comfortably? We've been conditioned to believe that the practice of repeating an action many times automatically translates into an expertise. This somehow restrains our outlook, making us averse to pursue new avenues or hobbies. As Jutkin says, an expert loves to repeat what has worked in the past under the pretext of a claim that they possess many years of experience. what they actually possess is one year's experience repeated many times haven't we all tried a hand at bodybuilding and felt demotivated when we haven't seen results medical news today reports that muscle size increases when a person continuously challenges them with higher levels of resistance or weight This process is known as muscle hypertrophy. Arnold Schwarzenegger explained that muscles weren't designed to be bored. They hate monotony and crave excitement. Our bodies are smarter than we expect them to be. In Arnold's words, the body is mocking us. Look, I know all your tricks. You're going to start with a bench press, follow it up with a barbell curl, and then finally wrap it up with a shoulder press. I know your routine. No doubt that having a routine is indeed a great start. However, running through the same routine over and over again results in diminishing returns not only in terms of effectiveness but also enjoyment. Arnold reveals the most important secret to trigger muscle hypertrophy is shocking this routine with a new exercise altogether. It is this element of unpredictability that is key to stimulating the growth hormones. Jutkins recommends an analogous principle of using boredom as an ally and shocking the mind with new activities, puzzles, or hobbies that challenge us to think laterally introducing such an element of randomness overrides the traditional thought patterns that we have acquired through repetitive and automatic processes over a long period while rod has explicitly laid out the distinction between acquiring a skill and cultivating a creative mindset he has also offered us a master blueprint to harness and apply creativity to every walk of life. He philosophizes that if we are truly seeking to reach the epitome of our creative potential, we need to pursue areas that truly excite us from within, embrace our imperfections, and experiment without being attached to the immediate rewards. Jutkin's book isn't meant to be read in a linear way. When you find your creativity waning and feel the need for inspiration, open it and start reading any page at random. Among the many beautiful lines from this enlightening chapters is one that reads, 
blame society, parents, culture, or schools, or whatever. But generally speaking, our freedom to be childlike is buried deep within, and instead, inhibition flourishes. We become afraid of being wrong, of being judged, or being laughed at. Our fear of creating holds us back and prevents us from seeking new horizons just for the sheer joy of it. My dear friends, it is that surreal world of fantasy and imagination that in fact holds the key to unlock our mind's best ideas. You don't have to be brilliant to produce brilliant work. Many of the characters that you will meet in this book failed at school, lacked natural talent, were not especially gifted or were repeatedly sacked, but their methods produced brilliant work because they persisted and persevered in spite of their imperfections. A famous Japanese sage has philosophized, in the beginner's mind there are many possibilities. In the expert's mind, there are only few. If you like this podcast, please take a moment to rate me on Spotify. Thank you.